Good morning, Internet. Tuplex here. Welcome back. We're going to do episode three of our Factorio walkthrough and tutorial. Uh, we've got iron and copper set up. And uh, what we're going to do today is start to get our main bus put together. Uh, we've already kind of marked out where we wanted to go over here. So we're going to hook up our copper and our iron to this line, and then we're going to get our red and green science set up. So let's get started. I've got plenty of belts in inventory. So we'll start by hooking up copper. We'll eventually have probably two, well, we'll have four copper lines coming in at the beginning. Um, most of that will be dedicated to feeding green circuit production. And then eventually, uh, towards the end of the bus, we'll have probably only one copper line remaining once we uh, draw all that off for circuit production. But like I said, for now, we're gonna bring up our iron and our copper, get those put together and uh, run those down the bus from west to east. Just wanna make sure I get this lined up properly here so I don't have to redo it. I think that's right. One, two, three. that looks right. Okay, there we go. So we've got the beginnings of a main bus. As we add more smelting capacity, we'll bring in the additional lines over here. But for now, we can work with this. This is enough to get our science going. So to do the science, we're gonna need some assembly machines. Uh, I see that our automation two is almost finished. So what are we missing here? We're missing some iron plate. So I'd rather just wait for that automation two research to finish so that we can use blue assembly machines. Uh, but we do need the uh, assembly machine ones to make those. So I'll go ahead and start crafting some of those. And then as soon as automation two is finished, uh, we can get that going. So we're going to need uh, five of these making red and six making green. The reason for that is if you look at the production time, red science packs take five seconds to make one. And green takes six. So if we have five assembly machines making science pack one, and each one takes five seconds, that means that we'll be getting one per second. Uh, and then to match the rate on science pack twos to get one per second, we need six. So that's basically where the five and six ratio comes from. Um, I want to make sure we don't run into this copper up here. So I think we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll start making this right around here. Okay, so we're going to need copper and iron coming up here okay whoops that's done uh, I'm gonna research optics next because I want to be able to get some lights so we can see better when it's dark okay uh, let me grab some more iron and some more copper off the belt I want to make a few splitters and a few underground belts and then we'll start making our blue assembly machines. I wanna use the blue ones instead of the gray ones because they are faster. Um, if you look here where it says crafting speed, assembly machine one has a crafting speed of 0.5. Uh, that's actually like a factor. So basically if you're gonna be making something, for example, a transport belt that says the crafting time is half a second, well, if you make it in an assembler one with a crafting speed of half a second, uh, it's really going to take a second to make one belt, right? Um, assembly machine two has a crafting speed of 0.75. Uh, so it'll still take longer than half a second, but it's 50% faster than assembly machine one. So we're going to use those because they're faster. We don't really need them for the extra ingredients. We just want them for the speed. All right, so I'm gonna get some of those queued up. And uh, 
let me see here. I want to leave a space of two, one, two, before we put our first factory down. Uh, the reason for that is because as we pull our belts up, I want to. I have the space of two in between the bus, uh, or in between these two bus lines, and in between the bus and the factory, because that's how much space we need to do two underground belts. Right. So um, I'll show you here in a second. I'm going to send iron plate up here, for example. So with uh, with a space of four, or with four lines running down this bus, that's uh, as wide as you can get while being able to span across it with an underground belt. That's why it's like that. Okay, so for red science, we need gear wheels and copper plates. So what we're going to do is we're going to have this one making gear wheels. And then I'm going to have five factories okay optics is done what do we want to do next something ah let's do steel next okay and then these guys will do the science packs and i'm leaving a space in between every two to accommodate our power poles so we're going to have this guy making gears. Let me craft some fast inserters. And then I also, I'm going to get uh, copper on this belt as well. And we'll do that simply by side loading the belt. So if you bring this belt up here, then we can, uh, we can have it run into this other belt so we'll get copper down one side. I have this extra belt, piece of belt here, because if you don't have that, uh, those belts will join one another and then you'll get copper on both sides of the belt, which is not what we want. We want it to stay on just one side, on the near side. Uh, and then this assembly machine and these inserters will put the gears on the other side of the belt. So let me run some power to this and we can see that start to work. Okay. So now we've got gears and copper conveniently placed on one belt. And all we need to do from there is get some inserters loading in and we'll have red science coming out the other side. Just like that. And that's how quick and easy it is to make red science. No problem. <clears throat> so I'm going to grab some more supplies here so that we can make some more assembly machines. We're going to need six, uh, as we said, for green science. And I'm going to need a few more as well to make some of the sub-assemblies that we need for green science. So uh, I'll get another handful queued up there. And while I'm building these things, I'll come down here and I'll grab our lab. We don't need to do this anymore. Okay, so we're done with our temporary science setup. It has served us well up till now. And uh, we thank it for its service. So uh, these, these science packs now are going to run up north. And we're going to put our labs up here. I'm going to put a space of three, one, two, three, and put our first lab. Um, for the, let's say the mid game, we're going to run with 10 science labs. So once we get this set up, I'm going to make some more of those labs and we'll get all those going. In the meantime, we can power that one up so that it can continue working while we get the rest of this going. Okay, so here on the other side, we're gonna put our green science packs. Okay, steel is done. Is there anything else we can do with only red science? Uh, we can do turrets, military, and armor. Let's do military. That way I can make a shotgun 
and a machine gun. Those will help us clear rocks and things. We're not going to be killing any biters uh, in the near future, but it won't be too much longer before we need to do that. Okay, these will be green science. So uh, what we'll do is we'll have red science going down one side of the belt. We'll have the green science packs on the other side of the belt. And then the labs will be able to pull those off from both sides. All right. So green requires yellow inserters and transport belts. So I'm going to put a feed belt here. And then I'm going to put another belt down here where we're going to load those two things. And I'll show you how we do that. We already know how to make transport belts. We've done that before. To do that, we had a factory making gears and another one making belts. And we need iron for those. So this belt will bring in iron plate. We make some more fast inserters. Gonna need some more iron off of our belt here. So convenient to have it right there. In fact, we'll bring that over because we'll need to bring that up soon. Okay. All right, so what we'll do is we'll pull iron off for gears. Like that. We're gonna need two power poles there. Okay, now here I'm gonna use an underground belt so that we jump across the copper bus that's gonna be coming over here. Okay, so this should give us belts. Beautiful. That's quick and easy as well. Now if we look at our gear machine, we can see that now there's a slight pause between every gear it makes while it's waiting to get more iron plate in. Uh, we didn't have that problem before because we're using assembler machine one, which are a little bit slower. But I want this thing to run. Let's do armor crafting next. I want this thing to run full speed. So what I'll do is I'll just put another inserter there. And we can see now that well, it's stopped now because it's uh, it's filled up the queue. Let me grab these belts. Now we can see that this thing is running at full speed with no pause. Okay. All right, so we got that. Now we need to make yellow inserters. That's a little more complicated. But it's not too bad. So for yellow inserters, we need electric circuits, gear wheels, and plates. Okay, well, it just so happens that we've already got iron plates here, and we already have gear wheels here. So we'll take advantage of that. Whoops. Okay, uh, that's done. We don't need walls. We will need turrets later on, so let's research turrets. Okay, so we've got iron plates and gear wheels. The only thing we need now are electronic circuits. So we're going to set up electronic circuits right here. Electronic circuits need iron plates and copper cables. How convenient that we have iron plates here as well. Okay, and we'll set this to feed into there. And now we just need the copper cables. And I'm gonna set that up right here. So we'll set this to make copper cables. We'll put an inserter there. And we'll put an inserter there. And we'll bring up copper. Oops this line here. Need more splitters. I'll just load some here manually to get it started. Uh, ah, I see what we... <laughs> the problem I have here is that we weren't outputting. Uh, 
Move this power pole. Now I'm going to need another power pole on the other side. Okay. Uh, now these uh, these inserters we need to put on the other side of the belt. So uh, just to do that fairly easily. We'll just put our belts like that. That way it'll side load onto the side opposite of the, the belts that are being put on this side of the belt. So now we've got a belt with both of those things that we need. I'm going to take advantage of this to grab myself some more inserters. So we'll put an input and an output on each of these assembly machines for green science. And now we've got red and green science production. All right, let's finish uh, hooking up our copper. And this should all go automatically until we have no more research to do. Okay, good. So that's it, we've got red and green science. Now we just need some more labs. usual. So we'll grab some more iron off the belt, get some more labs going. And I'm going to build some of these lights as well. Okay. So we're going to do our familiar configuration of two with a space and then two more with a space so that we have room to place our power poles. Let's get some more research started. Now we can start to research things that require green science as well. Uh, the first thing that I want to do is get electric energy distribution. That will give us the ability to make electrical poles out of steel and copper so that we don't have to hunt around for wood anymore. So we'll do that one right now. And as soon as these labs are done, we'll get more labs put up. Okay, so that all looks pretty good. Let's go check on our smelting to see how those guys are doing. Uh, no problem keeping up there with copper. We're using a little more iron, but uh, this line is backed up quite a bit, so we don't seem to have any issue with that either. Add some more fuel to that. Actually, what we can do is replace those with an electric drill, although my queue is pretty full at the moment. So for now, I'll just add some more coal to that so we can keep the stone mining going. We will need to use a lot of stone sooner or later. Okay, so that's all looking good. Let's go check on our power. Okay, now we can see on our uh, our power gauge here we're starting to get up to the limits of, of what we can make with one power line here so we'll have to add some more fairly soon as we add more and more production to our factory but there's no problem keeping up with fuel at this point so I think those two mining drills will be more than sufficient for the time being okay still waiting on our labs uh, the next order of business here will be to automate the production of green circuits. And we're going to set that up next to, next to this setup. So I'll go ahead and start to mark that out. Uh, for that, we are going to be using iron and copper as well. So we could probably take advantage of these lines that are already there. Okay, we're starting to get some labs done. So let's lay these out. We're going to put five on each side. Let's extend this out a little bit farther. Put some inserters. All right. And this will start to go pretty quickly. I'm going to lay out another belt next to this one. Uh, because for the later technology, as you can see, we use red, green, science pack three, and then science pack four as well, or alien science packs, they're called. 
Uh, so we're gonna eventually we're gonna need another belt here for blue and purple science packs. Uh, so I'll put that there now so that we leave room for it. And then we'll put five labs on the other side. Oh, I'm missing one more lab. Thought I queued up 10, but I was mistaken. Need some copper. Okay. One more lab. And then uh, we're going to be good to go for a while. Ah, okay. Now for the labs on this side, we're going to need the long-handled inserters. So let me make five of those. Because these labs have to pull from a belt that's two spaces away instead of one space away. Uh, once we have all four, we're going to have to have yellow inserters and red inserters on both sides. Uh, but for now, we only need that on this side. Okay, so we'll set those up here. And place our last lab. Okay. Good. So our science is in good shape for quite a while. Uh, now, as I said, I want to get some circuit production going because we spend an awful lot of time waiting for circuits to get made. Okay. So for green circuit production, there are two common ways to do this. One of the most popular ones is to set it up like this, where you have these three making copper cables and these two making circuits. And then they deposit in the middle and then you can have a mirror image of this on the other side. That's a, a fairly common way to do it. Um, basically you need to have a ratio of three copper cables for every two circuit assembly machines. I like to do it a different way just because for me it's, uh, I think it's easier to lay out and easier to expand. And I'll show you that one. Basically what we do here is we set up five machines, each one with a space in between. And three of these will make copper cables and the other two will make circuits. So this way it's, uh, you still have that same ratio of three to two copper cables to circuit machines. Um, but uh, I just like this layout a little bit better. So that's what I'm going to use here. And basically we'll set up the copper like this. So this copper cable machine will feed this one. Uh, this one will feed both. And this one will feed that one. Okay, so we get the ratios that we need. Uh, just a slightly different layout than the, the more common one. So this line will be copper, and that line will be iron. So let's get that set up. And I'll just do this on one side to get started and to demonstrate what it looks like. Oh, need some more underground belt. Okay, oil processing is finished. I'm going to go with fluid handling next. All right, Let me put some power poles down. And I'm going to place a couple of these lights that I just made so we can see what's going on. It helps a lot. Okay, uh, now we need to get our iron up there. Ran out of belts. Let's grab some more. Okay, and I'm gonna make some more long-handled inserters as well because we'll need those to pull our iron. I'm gonna put two of these for each of these units because uh, one is not quite fast enough to keep it going at full speed. So we put two inserters. 
there. And then our output, like so. Okay, so now we've got the beginnings of circuit production. And I'm gonna grab up these circuits to make more assembly machines for the other side. And you'll see that once you have circuits in your inventory, producing these things is a lot faster. It doesn't take quite so long to craft those. Okay, and we'll set up a similar arrangement on the other side so that it is symmetrical and we'll have our we'll have our belt full. Um, a quick tip here, if you want to set up another assembly machine to make the same thing as one that you already have, if you shift and right click on this one, for example, it'll copy the settings. And then I shift and right, I'm sorry, shift and left click on the target and it'll set it up to make the same thing that I had before. Which is very convenient when you're setting up a lot of these machines. Okay, that'll be copper. This will be iron. Uh, this is basically a, a mirror image of what we have on the other side. So let's copy these settings over. All right, run power. Put them here. Okay, I'll put some lights in the same place as well. I'll have everything nice and symmetrical. up, that feeds down, that feeds up. And that feeds down. These are going to pull copper. And these are going to pull iron. Okay. So now we just need to get our Lines hooked up here. Copper. All right, fluid handling is done. The next research is gonna be plastics. Let's get that going. I'm gonna grab some more belts and inserters over here. And then we can finish off this circuit line. Okay, so we have our first green circuit set up in production. And what we'll do with this is, uh, this is gonna go on our bus. So we'll just run it down like that. So here we've got copper. Uh, we'll eventually have one or two lines of green circuits and we'll have another one of the red circuits later on in the game. But for now, we'll just run it like this. Okay. That's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. In the next episode, we're going to set up steel. And uh, we'll take it from there. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.